Hello world, my name is Mohit Deshpande, and in this course I'm going to be teaching you some Objective C, some very basic Objective C, so that you can start developing applications for the iOS platform. So what I have here are two great links so that you can learn some more about Objective C in the event that you have questions or if you have if you want to look into the documentation a bit deeper then these two are some great resources for you to do so because I won't be covering necessarily all of the concepts in Objective C in just this section of the course I'll just be covering the very basics of object-oriented programming and Objective C I highly encourage you to check out these resources take 10 minutes and read through these resources so that you're more familiar with the language okay so first off let's talk a little bit about what object-oriented programming is the whole concept of object-oriented programming is that we create objects that have certain properties and we have what we call methods to do things to these objects the core foundation from this is the class a class is simply a blueprint of something for example we can have a blueprint of a house and you know that we can create many houses from that same blueprint just like we're doing here you can see we have objects that we created that follow this class blueprint and they're called instance 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you can see that the class has several properties like its buoyancy is 20, its color is red, and its size is 18 as well as what we call two methods Every instance has a buoyancy of 20, a color of red, and a size of 18. Now, of course, using methods we, or properties, we can change these so that maybe some instances have a buoyancy of 30 or some have a buoyancy of 5. We can maybe change the color of some instances. And we can do all this using methods, which I'll talk about in an upcoming section. Another very important concept of object-oriented object -oriented programming, but certainly not the last concept, is the idea of inheritance. So inheritance in programming, in object-oriented programming, works kind of the same way as it would in nature. We can see we have humans, gorillas, and orangutans, and they all have their roots in the, the same family. Humans, gorillas, and orangutans all have ten fingers, ten toes. That's due to the properties that they inherit from their, their common family. Now, as we go down through the chain, then, of course, maybe uh, gorillas have some unique properties that are unique to them, and humans have properties that are unique to them, and orangutans have properties that are unique to them. But, certainly some properties were acquired in the family and then all the uh, what we call subclasses in programming we call them subclasses when a class inherits from another class so we can think of humans, gorillas, and orangutans as kind of subclasses of the same family they inherit the properties of that family Let, let's, let's take a look at this in iOS programming you can see first of all I'll let me state that all objects all classes inherit from what we call NS object. The NS prefix stands for next step. And UI, as you can probably infer, stands for user interface. So we have NS object is the root of all classes, every single class. And you can see UI responder inherits from NS object. And UI view inherits from UI responder. UI control inherits from UI view. And finally, UI button inherits from UI control. So because of that, UI, we can say that UI button is a kind of UI view. UI button is a kind of UI responder. UI button is a kind of NS object. This is a very important concept of inheritance that we need to understand so that when we're programming in Objective-C, we can create these root classes and have subclasses of these. So let's review a little bit. We can see that a class is a blueprint, and we create many instances from that blueprint, and they'll all have the same properties to start out with. And I talked about how inheritance 
what we, what we can do with inheritance is have subclasses that inherit properties from their superclasses.